I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what you do. Call them jokers up. Absolutely, the line of credit. I mean, you have a reputation with them, right? And tell them, listen, I want to go ahead and increase, increase my line of credit. And they're going to say, hey, no problem, Mr. Smith. Let me go ahead and increase that to, let's say, 20K. Now, this is a real thing, folks. <laughs> have you ever been a victim of a credit line increase? If not, I suggest that you be a victim of a credit line increase. And so you increase your line of credit and now you don't have to worry about going over, okay? Your credit utilization goes down. You're amazing, all right? So now look, 20K is the line of credit now. Uh, of course, 10K, right, went there. Of course, 3K, another 3K went to the expenses. So that's 13K, that's okay. We're now at 7K, all right? Again, the 10K went to the loan and of course the 3k went uh, from the expenses so now I'm just draw that out there so now we have 13k we have 7k as the amount that we can use how are we going to pay both our loan and the line of credit can anybody guess absolutely and we're still going to pay our monthly obligation towards the loan okay how are we going to do that though? That's right. When the income comes in, it's going to go inside of the checking account. And then from the checking account, that income is going to go to the balance, right? Absolutely. So the balance, the balance is going to be, right? Now, now how much can you use? You can use 12K now, right? Because the 5K went inside of the line of credit all right so now it's 12k all right that you can use okay but remember remember you have the expenses don't you all right so the expenses are going to subtract now you'll be at 9k but that's okay because the upward trend right is the 2k what's paying off the line of credit you know, you're pay, you, you just pay 10K to the principal on the loan. You, you're still paying the debt obligation from the line of credit. What, what, what's happening? How, how are, is the line of credit and the loan getting paid? Remember, you're keeping or parking the line of credit, your income in your line of credit. And as you continue to pay from your line of credit, what is the amount that gets left over? 2K. 5K minus 3K is 2K. That's the amount that is staying within the line of credit. That is how the line of credit is getting paid down. Does that make sense? It's amazing. Okay, so you have 20K. It's getting paid at $2,000 each month. 20K uh, divided by 2K is 10K. That'll be paid off uh, in about 10 months. Is that all right? And you didn't even have to starve yourself. All right. So that's what we're into. We're into also paying off this loan, which used to be 20K, but now it's at 10K and you're continuing to pay uh, monthly. That means it's lower than 10K now. And what does that do to the credit score? Shoot it up. Can you ask for another line of credit increase in about six months? You sure can. Now, of course, I would need for you to contact me uh, at this because I want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. I'm sure you will. Uh, if you have any questions, you can either rewind this video or get back at me. All right. Listen, the information is on the screen. I want you to have a great day and put this to practice. Don't just know Velocity Banking. Live it. God bless and have a great night.